What's up, y'all? It's been Davenport. Today we're about to do an interview with Football Field. Let's get it. All right, man, we're sitting here. We're sitting here with, 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 I don't know you now, bro. 10, 12? 11. You 11 years old? What, what grade? 11 years old? What? You in the fifth grade? Um, got a sixth grade prom coming up soon, huh? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Brian Davenport, um, we ain't got to say your daddy name no more. You big, hey, man, you done made a name for yourself, man. We, Brian Davenport, we just gonna, Brian Davenport, Brian yeah, Davenport. Hey, man, we getting to the point where it's, oh, you Brian Daddy. That's what, <laughs> that's what happened to me at a certain point. I lost my identity. What happened? Man, it went from, hey, Chad, what's up? Oh, you Quincy and Mark dad. I'm like... <laughs> You no longer had a name. Yeah, that's what the doctor said. It got that. It got that. Yeah, now they just be like, "That's brand daddy." Because <laughs> <laughs> he played a lot. That was a long time ago. Please say your daddy playing a long time ago, man. You reacted to your dad high school highlights. Um, real fast story about your dad. I remember one time I was in North Carolina. My best friend called me. He called me. He said, "Hey, man, I saw something disgusting last night at the game." <laughs> I was like, "What happened?" He said, "Najee Davenport was running all over Northwestern." <laughs> he said. And Najee got hurt. And Northwestern entire sideline, they stand, stood up, and started clapping. He said, man, it was so disrespectful, man. And I'm North Carolina, he's telling me this story. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you got to react to your dad highlights, right? Yeah. Well, what you saw when you, you, you sat and watched your dad play? What, what, what do you saw? Be honest with us. Tell us what you saw. I saw a lot of hitting. A lot of hitting? Like, he was like... He played both ways? He played both ways? Or you saw him getting hit. You saw him getting hit? No. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Saw a lot of hitting. What you think about this? He don't broke he break you down your game all the time. You running the ball, cuts and everything. Tell me about your dad. What you saw your dad doing? Things he did right, things he did well, things he didn't do well. So he's always telling me to one run through the line. Uh huh. But there was this one play where he was just jogging. He, oh, he just jogged hey, to the drag the needle across the record. <laughs> wait, what? He was just jogging through During the game, in the middle of the game? Did he score? But he jogged in the end zone. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Right, but if that was you, you came to the sideline, he would have said what? He got mad. He got mad? Yep. Like, fired up mad or, like, sort of mad? Like, sort of. Sort of mad and say what? What does he say to you? He'd be like, why you ain't run through the line? They could have tackled him, but mm -hmm. I'm too fast. Right, so what else What else you see in your dad game? Did he look faster than you, bigger than you? What else you see? Bigger, not faster. He look bigger than you? Just wanted to make that clear. <laughs> he got me on the big, but. Yeah? Yeah. Anything you saw in this game that you think he could have did better? Uh, press the hole. Explain to press people the what hole. press the hole mean. <laughs> so basically it's like you get as close as to the line and then you either jump cut left or right uh -huh. and just make your move. Somebody you been coaching your, this guy up. You have to keep your shoulders straight yeah. just because you can like turn back for an open hole at any time. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't do that. He didn't. He didn't do that well. I mean, he was like running, running out to the line and then just jumping. But you have to go like all the way up and then. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't making them buy into it. He wasn't yeah. selling it. But right? He still scored on it. Yeah, you coach defense. What does a running back pressing the hole does to a defense? Man, I don't even know if they used that type of terminology back then. You know, Najee played in the single face mask, single ball face mask days. You just had to get the ball, and your coach would tell you, hit the hole, come through there with your pads down, and whatever happened, happened. You right. know, so, you know, but pressing the hole in this day and age, yeah, yeah, you you get the overflow by the by the defense. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You, you really delay that decision, but you – you press the hole, get them to move, and keep an eye for that back for that back door, man. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, so he could have did that. He could have did that. Anything else he could have did better? You saw? Uh, nah, nah. So what did you saw that he did well? What was he really good at? Kicking. Oh, um, I'm about okay. That. All that running back, and he could kick the ball. Yeah, that <laughs> like far. He could oh, kick. Yeah. So he should got recruited as a kicker. He could do 30 years as a kicker. <laughs> yeah. He's still been in the league right now. You might not be if he was a yeah, kicker. Right? <laughs> but so, so he was good at kicking. Yeah. What else he was good at? Running the ball from a running standpoint. Running people over. He, he was physical. Um, you just think he was bigger than everybody else? Or he or he ran really hard? What, what did it look like to you? He, he ran hard? Yeah? I see Streeter trying to start stuff over here. <laughs> did you learn anything from it? Uh, kind of, yeah. What do you think you learned from it? To, like, run harder. Mm. Just sometimes, like, 
I do the same thing. Sometimes I jog through the line. Yeah. Because, like, I'm way in front of people, but I know I always run harder. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about that. Like, when you when you run, you do kind of Eric Dickerson the thing. Like, I, when game with kids, somebody in their age that runs, like, that runs. Man, there aren't really that many more, but some, I don't think he's ever seen Le'Veon Bell really play or at least. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have okay. Right. When he was good, or like when he was good. post Steelers, late down there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he might have been kind of that kind of player. Come right. up to the line of scrimmage, wait. You know, all the stuff you wouldn't tell a kid to do. So, so, so you think watching your dad play will make you think you, you think you should hit the hole harder, run run harder because you saw him be successful. Yeah, sometimes he was running from some goons. <laughs> Wasn't in AY for he was running from people he was running from really trying to kill him. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I know it on video you can't tell, but <laughs> it was a hostile environment. <laughs> it was a really hostile environment. Yeah, they just played the football for the violence. <laughs> Might right. not even think about going to school. Right. So 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 you so you're gonna you're gonna run harder. Um so what was your style before? Cause you seem to you really seem to run patient. Like you seem to run long strides, patient. We, is that just something that came natural? Or you do it on natural. purchase? That's just naturally how you run. Um, pressing the hole. Tell us something else your dad has taught you. Give me some more term, running back terminology. Teach some of these other eight year olds. Uh, pressing the hole. Um, jump cuts. What's a jump cut? It's like just jump to the side. You, like keep your feet square. You a jump and a jump cut is used when. Um. Like if there's someone coming at you at an angle, uh -huh. you can jump cut to the side and then they'll just run past you. Make guys miss. Try, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. You pretty good with that? You're not a contact run them over guy. You a jump mm -hmm. cut. Make Sometimes. Okay. Like there was this one time we were playing Boy and Beach uh -huh. and this kid, he made me really mad. So I just ran through the hole and ran him over instead of getting the yards and our, my head coach got mad at me. <laughs> no, so you took it personal. Man, you know, I got something good out of that, that you actually recognize the kid. You know, look, a lot of running backs are going there and they don't, they just running from colors, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they don't, they might not necessarily recognize that this is that guy. How'd he make you mad? He was like talking trash because this one play, like the O line, they weren't blocking. And then he came to the hole and hit me. So the next play, I told my coach to do the same play. And I guess he was thinking that I was probably going to run to the outside. But I ran right up the middle and I ran him over. <laughs> and his dad was talking a lot of smack before the game. How too. many yards you got? Five. Five About yards? Five. What down it was? You remember? Third. Was it the first down? No. Whoa. Yeah, we ain't going to ask your dad what happened on that. <laughs> Whoa. So, so, so you went to the side. So no first down. Now y'all got a punt. I think we went for it. Yeah? Yeah, it's Little League. They probably just said, oh, to hell with it. We'll go for it. They gave you the ball again? No, I think they had threw a bomb to either me or King. Yeah. Well, no, at that point, you should have been on the bench. No, he wasn't on the bench at that point? No, you should have been on the bench talking to somebody. They <laughs> said, hey, listen, this ain't about you. There ain't no INT, no. Yeah, personal beef, no. All <laughs> right. Now that ain't happened? No? He got you in the car though. I know he did. So, so, so you, so you run the boy over. And you got up. and You said what? I started flexing on him, and then he tried to push me, but they were only calling the other boy, place. So I just went back. So you ran him over. And you hit him with the on third down. What? <laughs> he just made a third down stop. Well, this, this little league football is serious. <laughs> he just made a third down stop and ran flexing. Man. Like I told you, I was gonna knock your mouthpiece out. <laughs> Fourth down. <laughs> <laughs> you see the logic in that bread? No. And no, nah, personal. You huh? Do it again. <laughs> it was personal, huh? Screw it. Y'all won that game? Yeah, and it was the game to go to the Super Bowl for oh, nine boy. season. It was, wow. it was It was stuff on the line that day. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> personal titles is on. It was a playoffs. Yeah. Second round. Second round of playoffs. Man, Brent, how many touchdowns did you scored last year? I think about nineteen, twenty. Wow, is that what is that what you wanted, or you you were looking for thirty or forty or something? I was, but I was I could didn't play sixteen because I fractured my knee. Oh my god! Wait, wait, you did this in half a season, <laughs> man. Good grief! Yeah, nineteen touchdowns in how many games? 
eight. No. Yeah, six. Like this, like half a season. Oof. You do that math. My first this? game back, I scored three touchdowns. Who y'all playing Please. against, Brian? House of the Blind, Sisters of the Poor. Who, who y'all playing against? We playing against Hollywood. Oh, it's Hollywood. Okay. Man. All right. Bryn Davenport, baby, twenty and a half a season. <laughs> twenty. So, so, so next, y'all won championship last year, right? Yeah. Then y'all went to nationals, and nationals didn't work out in y'all favor, right? Mm -hmm. What you learned from Nationals playing against these teams from across the country? What what did what did you learn out there? No, because actually, like before we went to Nationals, I had got hurt, mm -hmm. and then while we were in, I think it was second round, we were playing against Rare Breeds. Malik had got hurt. So I so think he had the same problem. He had like a knee mm -hmm. fracture. Mm -hmm. So y'all went to Nationals. Y'all limped into Nationals. Yeah, y'all so wasn't, we were wasn't healthy. You y'all you didn't play in that. You no, no. I got hurt in practice. You didn't play? Mm. Right. So the after yeah, the season, yeah. I'm talking about, okay, right. You're talking about before. I'm talking about the one after the season that was like in out west when y'all played against, um, who did it play against? Oh, yeah. 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 That, I did. Yeah. Play. After the season national, not the preseason national. Wait, y'all lost to a team from Pittsburgh? No. I was about to say. But the second game y'all played. Uh, Atlanta Elite. Who? Atlanta Elite. And Atlanta Elite got the best of y'all. Um, you you do you so so what do you what do you take from that? Cause y'all kind of dominate y'all league here, right? They probably had fourteen year olds on the team. <laughs> That's what I take from it. <laughs> and then you get the Nationals and you run into a buzz Um, like what what do you what what do you what do you take from that? It was big. Uh, it we was had big? yeah, we had lost to them. Uh, and preseason. So you have the second time playing them. Yeah. Yeah. And. I was like, we were good until the second half. Like, people started fumbling and stuff, and we kind of got down. Yeah, big running back, huh? How much you think he weighed? Three hundred. <laughs> I don't think he was three hundred, but he was big. Man, he was big. Georgia kids seem to be. Georgia has had that pro that over us for a long time. Coming out here bigger than us, they were kind of the reason. Mm. Georgia, Cali, the reason Miami switched to unlimited football. Yeah. Yeah. We, um, you know, we used to take teams out of town, and that was always the deal. Yeah. Really big kids. Right. Where one year we had a team where they just knew they weren't going to be more athletic than us, so they just got shoulder to shoulder on the offensive line, snapped the ball, and just pushed forward. Just plowed it. And, I mean, it worked for them. Right. We'd have two possessions, three possessions in the game. Yeah. They scored once or twice. That was it. It was over with. Right. They just out. Yeah. Yeah. So they always come down like their kids eat extra pancakes. I don't know <laughs> what happens. You know what I'm saying? But their kids always, they, even though we went unlimited and still their kids always thicker than yeah, our Yeah, I'd kids. love to know what that's all about. I don't know. Yeah. What you think when they got more space to play in? Maybe going up in small houses or something. I don't know what's going on. Like the fish bowls. Yeah. I don't know, though. I don't know. Something's going on. Must be something. Yeah, man. I'm still tripping off of the 19 touchdowns in half a season. That's a lot. I see why you get an NIL deal. That's okay. That's what's going on. That's a lot. You did recently get an NIL deal, right? Yeah. From you got it from where? Holla Athletics. I'm actually wearing the shorts right now. Holla Athletics. Holla yeah. Athletics. Holla, holla like, Athletics. Holla, 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 holla. And it was worth like what? Maybe ten thousand, five thousand to you and five thousand to Malik. Malik? Yeah, around that. Malik is who? Your your quarterback? Yeah. So what y'all were able to do? Y'all were able to go in the store and they gave y'all money out of the register? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, nah. We got to like pick out and you gear for gave you socks and stuff, right? Yeah. A lot. Cool stuff or yeah, what cool kind of stuff, stuff they got in there? Huh? You got back plates, mouthpieces, visors. You can stop right at back plates and back plates. That's a hundred dollars a week. Hey, people are there. <laughs> back plates is serious. No, but what else? Back plates. What else? They got like all like they have stuff for baseball, boxing, soccer. It's like Dick Sporting Goods, but. Yeah. It's a little smaller. Yeah, better. Oh, it's better. It okay, smaller. holla athletics. You know what? This brings up something to me. So while you were breaking down dad's film, talk about his swag on the, like, what What did he have on? Is he talking trash? Did he run yeah. people? Was his knee pads, like, over his knee? Like, talk to us. What did he, what did he look like? Yeah, these long socks. I think you were saying it recently, but, like, there was this one play in... It was his thick sock on his left <laughs> leg, I think. He thought that looked cool, huh? No. <laughs> no. I think it was something for his ankle. Did he? 
he ain't have on no forearm pads or nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's that's 70s style stuff. So he was all right. Rate his swag on the field in that film you saw one to ten. What you give him? Six. Six? Six. All right. I mean, it ain't quite seven, but he was talking trash. It looks like it. Cause he kept on like doing this side of sense. Huh, right? <laughs> when you get up and do that after runs, what do he tell you when you come to the sideline? I never do. You never really did that before? Oh, yeah. Try. Get up and do this cabbage patch or whatever y'all doing. Oh days. my goodness, he said the cabbage patch. <laughs> whatever, and this is what he say when you come to the sideline. What are you gonna say? Keep your head in the game. Stay focused. The game ain't over. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but he don't know because he hadn't tried it. <laughs> Brent talk trash, man. Brent talk trash in the game. You get fired up. Man, he flexed up on somebody after he trucked him, man. I mean, that's the ultimate right there. So, so y'all see next year. Uh, I'm sure y'all the favorites to win the FYF. Or are y'all? Did, did y'all get any transfers? You know, anybody transfer out? You got the same squad? No, we got a couple of new kids. Yeah. That are coming in. Some from, like, people from different parts. Yeah. Stuff. But y'all losing this thing? Who yeah. y'all lost? Cam yeah, man, Damari, Dion, and all the people that came from Tamarack. Went back? Yeah. Went Except somewhere. for Chris. Cam yeah, man was only there for a year, right? Yeah. And Damari, what was his Damari play? Receiver. And who else? Uh, Dion? Yeah. Who did Dion play? A receiver and quarterback, but. It sound like I key think- losses. Yeah. Am I going to start a transfer portal like you, <laughs> you transfer portal website? That sounds like a nice little hit y'all took, Bree. Y'all going to be able to replace them? Yeah. Yeah? Ah, y'all giving that NIL deals? What's going on? Your dad getting in the truck, going through the neighborhood, trying to find kids? Like, what? <laughs> How y'all going to replace that? That's a lot of talent. I mean, like, I don't want to say too much because oh, people... Oh, oh. All right, Lamar Jackson. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> we might have stumbled upon something here. Well, so what you want to say it broadly? What, is it going to be, is the problem going to be fixed? Street, he looked yeah. nervous, man. He looked like them people in the room in first 48. He ain't trying to say nothing right now. And the problem, <laughs> <laughs> the problem going to be fixed. Yeah? Yeah. Will y'all actually play them? Yeah, last game with the Chiefs. So they just created, they just, we, they just created a war, a war, huh? They got to make the poster for this game already, right? They just, they just squatted up, created a war, huh? You know, all the kids left and went to one team, or they went back to different teams. What happened there? All the kids left that came from Tamarack to Miramar, they left okay. and went to Plantation, except for Chris. All of them with the same team? Yeah. Plantation. Eleven dirty Devils. Plantation. Miramar Wolverines. Versus a plantation <laughs> wildcats. 11 U game. You're gonna need extra security. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mark it on your calendar. I feel I feel like something's gonna happen. Yeah. It's going down. So go ahead, talk to me. You know uh, so there was one time we were at the hills, I think it was Thursday, and we had pulled up. It was me, Coach E, JJ, and that's it, I think. And my dad. And we had saw someone with an OTF, like they call themselves OTF, mm-hmm. someone with an OTF draft fit, and then more people started coming in. So we were like, who is that? And then I was like, I think that's Plantation. So he had walked over there. It was like two kids that had on the OTF drive fit. Yeah. And it was like three of us. So we walked over there. They were just, they were on one side, we were on the other. And then our head coach had came and our other coach, and one of our players, his dad, like from last year, his dad came and he was like, we're not going to kick y'all out today. And then all of our coaches were like, what? <laughs> My goodness. I'm telling you that. And they had went to the other OTF, side. OTF, that's little Dirk. All, what does yeah. OTF stand for? Only the family. Only the family, right? That's little Dirk stuff, right? Wow. I almost met Lil Dirk about a week ago, bro. Did you? Mm-hmm. We almost went to the studio with him. Yeah. yeah. Uh. So they oh they they call itself OTF the same thing it means the same thing yeah man this is this sounds it sounds serious, serious don't you? this <laughs> seems good. by the way he said the hills is funny you know for you folks that are not from South Florida there's like Talk one to place Listen one to this 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 one hill in South Florida. So they come from plantation, they come from Dade County to go to this, because we have no elevation here. We are seriously sea level. So he said, the hills is one place people can go for some elevation and some good like resistance work. So shout out to Vista View Park and, and Davy, it's, it's Davy, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the hill. Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, everybody go there, man. You can, I remember being there with Duke Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody, everybody go there to work out here in, in South Florida. Yeah, it's either that or you run in one of these overpasses. Yeah. It's the only way you can get elevation down here, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's probably kids with nightmares of, of Vista View Park. <laughs> That's the bad one. Yeah, it's almost the same off Yeah. Ooh, we hit them hills, huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> I was like, uh, well, yeah, I was like, I want to hear it. Yeah. So we all want to hear it, so. so. Yeah, so, I mean, you had two fumbles in the playoff game. Yeah, this was for uh, the second second round. Season. Yeah, this was second round, too. But ten Okay. So basically, I had it was like wet, and I had my visor on, my clear visor. So I had ran the ball, and like he said, when I hit the ground, the ball came out, and I tried to die for it. But Tamara actually got it. Mm-hmm. So they got the ball. Um, one of my teammates, LJ, he recovered a fumble and took it to the house. So we were all hyped up, and then I fumbled again. Back to back series. Yeah. And I was I was like out of it. So <laughs> my coach took me out. Next drive, I scored. I think it was like a 30-yard touchdown. We get a start, get the ball back. I score again. Mm-hmm. I think it was like 60 or 50 yards. And then we get the ball back again. And then I was tired. I didn't even want to get the ball. Mm-hmm. So I I told my friend Zion, yeah. watch me score this play, but I was just joking around. And then I got the ball, I pressed the hole, and I found the open lane. Yeah. So touchdown, yeah. touchdown, touchdown. And you like, all right, I think I'm I'm cool on these two fumbles. Everyone should have forgotten. I did not earn that trip to the hills, but what happened? Yeah. I mean, I didn't go. T- I didn't go to the hills, but he had to talk with me after the game. Gotcha. gotcha. You know why you were fumbling? Where do you think fumbles come from? Holding the ball wrong. Just holding it. Just holding it. You gotta or like if it's wet or slippery. Mm. Yeah. Coach don't want to hear it was well slippery. Yeah. <laughs> you can't come to the sideline and be like, Coach, it was <laughs> slippery, <laughs> slippery out there. What are you gonna say? Everybody else holding the ball. Look, look at thirteen. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know it goes. So this is the same game we ran the dude over, huh? No, the the it's game where game. I ran the dude did over was in ninety, but this was in ten. Oh, so you went back a year. Okay, so you went back. You went back a year on this. Um. Oh, okay. Two fumbles. How many touchdowns? Any three. Three t- Two fumbles. Three touchdowns. So they cancel each other out, right? No, three touchdowns. You don't want to. Yeah, about the two fumbles, right? Nah, come on. Yeah. Honestly, how you feel about that? If you fumble um, twice in the game like you did, but you scored three touchdowns, what are you thinking after the game? That's a great game. All's well that ends well, or you know, like I need to, I need to clean up that whole fumbling thing. No, I was happy about it after. Good man. But when people were bringing it up, it kind of like. Oh, they didn't want to let you. They were bringing up the fumbles. Look, it's cool that you scored three touchdowns, but man, two fumbles. That's how it's gonna be, man. The girls don't ever remember the fumble. They don't. <laughs> Dads do, though. I can promise you. <laughs> they, don't, they, they, they don't remember the fumble. Girl, they don't want to see you talking about, man, you were fumbling the ball. Lose my number. <laughs> it's not going to happen like that, dog. All right? It ain't happening. It ain't happening like that. Where what school you go to? Coconut Palm Elementary. Oh, my kids went to Coconut Palm. You fast person in school? Anybody close? How you know? Cause, like, we have we have a field day every year, and I've won the fastest kid race every five years since kindergarten. I'm in fifth grade. My <laughs> so they probably, probably want you to sit this one out this year. <laughs> no, it already pre- happened. Oh my Monday. goodness! They don't print his name on the little. The little, the little, the little we need the little, him to transfer. <laughs> the little war. They don't. You win it every year. Anybody came close? No. Huh? No. Well, maybe transfer a can man to somebody in your school. Somebody go, nope, nope, no, nothing. No, nothing. So you win the race. What else y'all doing field day? You can't win everything now. Uh, there's gotta be other football stuff. throw. Jeez, um, who is that? Me. What else? Give me something else, bro. You got oh. you ain't winning. You ain't winning everything. There's like basketball. It's a basketball game. Okay, somebody gotta be better than you in basketball, right? Dang. 
basketball player? What? Sack toss? Like the <laughs> potato sack race? What you yeah, potato was? sack race. I win mm. that too. Uh, <laughs> when I'm about tired of this ring character. Yo, what's the event you lose, man, and feel that we need? When did I lose? Frisbee throw, like <laughs> the potato sack race. Oh, no. I think it was the basketball shot. Basketball shot. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So what what happens? Steph Curry, little son, out there or something, just dropping threes on you. Hmm. I need no, some who? faster people in poking what Pembroke Pines, right? In yeah, Miramar. Miramar. Anything. You used to drive past that school every day. Yeah. Y'all need some faster people in your school, man. You... They should call it Brand Day until somebody beat you, dog. For real. Put yeah. his name on a trophy like little Brand like this. <laughs> yeah, I see you walking your deaf car, so you came out here, boy. You must be really care about deaf car. You came to the football field podcast with a deaf guy. That's what you played 7074? Yeah. Last yeah. year. Last year you played last year? Yeah. Um, How y'all doing that? You good? Yeah. Championships, okay. You play a little defense though, right? Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Enough of this running back talk. Yeah. So what you play on defense? Chad think you're gonna play defense mm -hmm. though. Safety and sometimes corner. Which one you like better, safety or corner? I mean, whenever I go to safety, there's no action, but when I go to corner, there's no action. Like when I go to corner, all the action would go to the safety. When I go to safety, all the action would go to the corner. Man. Like during practice. So, they, so it's they like actively avoiding you, huh? <laughs> Gee, rest. What do you call that? When you have a play on your what do you call that, Chad? When you got a guy on your team where you can you can do that to the offense. What do you call Man, it? You know what I mean? You would think you safety though, you get in the middle of the field, you you, know, you might get some more action to come your way, but they're actively avoiding you. That's a good thing. You know what I mean? Get your action in practice. Be fine. You you got to play against one of the most famous kids in your age group right now, and they claim he's the fastest. He's not in school, though. No. Um, Blaze Carter, right? You played against Blaze, right? Yeah. Um, I don't hear about this. Yeah, yeah. you played against Blaze. Who won the game? Us. Y'all y'all beat him. What was the score? You remember? I think it was 16 to 12. Or 16 yeah, y'all yeah, held him down like that. Who had the better game, you or Blaze? Uh -oh. I mean, it wasn't. We got a noticeable, <laughs> a noticeable pause. <laughs> we had the best game, dog. We had the most touchdowns. So how did you play? How you felt you played? It was an ugly game. Let's, okay, let's get this right. It's a game in a month, right? It was it was raining really really hard. Yeah. One of the hardest hardest raining games you ever played in. Nah. No, but it was raining the whole entire game. Did you do anything, though? Know? Like, did you get some yards? Did he do anything? Yeah, we both got yards. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just he has this one long run where he got. I think he got ran down. Really? Okay, who what? did that? <laughs> Not somebody from Coconut Palm, obviously. No, because it was me and um, DJ. Mm. We were running like at an angle, mm. but he was in front of me, so it was like this, mm. and then he had a tackle. Him. So you was on the field when he broke. Were you you out there? Could you? How fast is he really? Could you feel? Could you tell? That old man, I don't know if I've seen anybody moving this fast. <laughs> or did it seem like I could, if I got a right angle, I could catch him? Yeah. So you, think you, you think you catch him? You fast. Yo, but why the video that I saw said the kid runs a 4 2? Come on, not cut it out. <laughs> cut it out. Um, He's fast. Uh, I went to go see him play in Nationals one year, and he's long. Is he 4 2 fast? Why are we even pausing on that? <laughs> No, he looks, but he's, he's little. Right. He's Maybe little. against the other kids his age. I think run sometimes, no four two, man. I think he's more, I think he's more amazingly shifty. Yeah. You know what I'm that, saying? And you can see that. But on track, you can't deny that he's smoking everybody. Well, yeah, I mean, look, little, little league track is like that. Right. You will have guys winning by 20 meters. Yeah. Yeah. It looks crazy, but then. Hmm. But, um, but... I think a lot of it. I think a lot of it is good marketing mm. by his dad and and what they do with his brand. Um, is he fast? Yeah, he's fast. Is is he is he is he exceptionally talented? Yes. Sure. Because uh, I've seen the clips. Yeah. I think I might have even posted them on Gridiron Studs. Right. Yeah. Yes. Um, I guess it just comes down to a thing that we're talking about football. Yeah. Just like it's no different than when you're talking about basketball. Yeah. And I once played a dude that was averaging sixty points. In a tournament, but he was five nine. Sixty points average? He, the first two games he had sixty or something. Sheesh. 
you know what I'm saying? Down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. So to be successful at football, you either are gonna be a superhero, mm. you know what I'm saying? Or at some point in time, you're gonna have to be a big a big guy with some of the same uh attributes as a as a little guy once the once it starts narrowing down at, mm. at the at the top. Gotcha. Um Brandon, who do you think is more famous? Baby Gronk or Blaze? Who got the bigger name? Baby Gronk. Ooh. Baby Gronk? Wow. Yeah, Baby Gronk got college girlfriends or something. I'm not sure what's going on there, Brandon. But <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there, but Baby Gronk. They do some outside of football marketing with him, don't yeah. they? Gotcha. Mm -hmm. His dad, his dad is is really savvy with that stuff. Come from the record industry, and he, uh, it's all his, it's all his dad. Yeah, yeah. But I think what the they, kid can actually play though. Yeah, yeah. I, I you don't see. How do we answer that? Like he, yes, he. When he sees him on the field, he dominates whoever's on the field with him. It's usually flag or seven on seven. Um, I don't. I haven't often seen him play tackle. You seen him play tackle? I've seen one clip. You see one clip play tackle, still dominating. He had this run where he checks somebody, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think his dad does a good job at leaving that to whatever you want to believe. Mm. Um, as a little kid, he did dominate. Like, he dominated in, the, in his... But now I think it's a lot of marketing. Mm -hmm. um, can he play football? Yes, he can play football. We're not sure because dad is basically... It just seems like dad controls what scenario, what scenario he puts him in. What, gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of like you did with your kids. You took your kids. Well, I ain't do what baby Gronk <laughs> daddy did. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. right. I can't do yeah. yeah, but he, he controls the environment. Yeah. Um, and to a certain degree. If I had to parent, if I had you know. to guess, would he play and compete? Yeah, I've seen him. Okay. I've seen him play at Nationals. I've seen him gotcha. compete. Yeah, I think he can play, but I think people get it mixed up. But as up. a football player, he's not Blaze. We just established it. No, I think, no, I think Blaze is. Gotcha. Something, yeah, I think Blaze is something different. Like, okay, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, I think Blaze is something different. Blaze is just yeah, high. He's just really. You small never played against point. Baby Gronk, though. Huh? No, he's a little younger than you, right? You met him before, though, right? You met where yeah, you met Baby Gronk at? Uh, I forgot what it was called. Yeah, um, yeah. How's that? How's the athlete? He had his college girlfriend with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, you went with him. Uh. So you saw him, is he about your size? He's not. He's, he's, I'm a little taller. You're a little taller than him, but he's a little younger than you, right? Mm. Yeah? He's just like challenge him to a one-on-one -on -one or something. That would have been a viral video, dog. I mean, he's got to get these likes and these followers, dog. Just, yeah, right. <laughs> she just tossed dad the ball and be like, dad, yeah. come on, one-on-one. -on -one. I guard you, guard me. That should have popped off. Yeah? Maybe next time. You think baby girl could guard you? Mm. No? No? I wonder at what point we, you know, he lose the baby part of that Gronk thing. Mm. We got an end date for that name. No, the question is how for how long you think he can hold it? Yeah, man, that's ain't trying to have a mustache being called I baby. Guess he could be baby Gronk all the way up. Maybe I mean, there's no, little baby just Gronk status. Like <laughs> maybe not such a tough, you know, little name to be carrying around anymore. So yeah, we gonna start calling Brand Baby Brand. Yeah, a baby Davenport. No. Don't have that ring to it. He ain't going with it. Uh, he ain't with it. Oh, wow. You didn't, you didn't like Baby Cinco? Why you don't want to be called your Baby, you don't want to be a junior? Because I'm me. Mm -hmm. Huh? I don't like it. No. You might want to stop, man. You might have to pad up. You call him Baby <laughs> Davenport again. So you healthy, dog? You working yeah. out again? Yeah. How how tough was it to sit out and, and be injured? Talk to us about that. How many times you cried and your fruit loops? Yeah. I didn't I didn't cry. Yeah, like, tell the truth. Now your daddy right there. We're gonna ask him. <laughs> it was hard to watch my team lose. Yeah. Talk to me. Cause like, it was just we played Lambo. And he got blown out. Mm. Well, we got blown out. That's the same team I saw Blaze them play again, but Blaze them jumped out on them. Mm. He's eventually lost. Um it was tough to watch a team lose when you were. How many games did they lose while you were injured? Two. Two. That's it, and then they ran the table with the rest of them. Yeah, cause. Yeah, cause we didn't lose in the regular season. We only lost games in national. Oh, outside of outside of yeah, outside the AY. Right. Anything? Anything else tough? Like, I mean, trying to play video games, going to school. Like, what else was rough? Trying to it? go up the elevator when I would go to school. That was tough? No. 
Yo, you, oh, yeah, that you right. use the elevator. Yeah. Right? You're in crutches? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Like, elevator? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to go up the stairs like everybody else. Yeah. At one point, they was like, all right, Brian, get off the elevator. No more. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> we Not just it. started walking on the elevator. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> With coffee. Hmm. Uh, they never stopped you? They they did, but like it's because I had crushes and I had got off of them. I was just wearing like a, I don't know what you would call it. It was like a, a brace. brace or something. Yeah, yeah. A, yeah. Brace, a knee brace. So you went from not being able to walk, right, to running a little bit. How did it go? What was the, what was the? Yeah, it was like in the middle of the season. I, I brought my helmet out to practice and we were just doing ladder drills and stuff. Yeah. Mm. So so first you couldn't walk you on crutches. Then you put the crutches down. Now you could run a little bit. How did it go? Run was, you could walk fast, then you could run a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um so how did how how long do you think it took you to actually get back to where you're running full speed again? And he was like, Dad, I'm ready to go. Cause at that point, it becomes psychological, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So how, at what point did you feel normal again? I think like one month and a week, yeah. probably around that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only one month. Nah, nah. You were longer, right? Yeah, probably like two months. Like two, like two months. Did it feel different when you got back on the field? Yeah, it felt like this. My right leg was a little weak because mm -hmm. I haven't been using it. But we were doing like. Lifting and stuff like yeah. squats, um, putting my feet on this little like metal thing, and then I'll push off and add a weight on it and stuff like that. Mm. But it still felt weak. It felt weak. Y'all good now though. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, is that is it really weak or is that is that just in your head? No, it probably is. Yeah. Or you, is it a little weaker than you haven't been using it? So. Yeah. And then eventually you got back to your normal self. Yeah. You're good though. So. 40 touchdowns, loading. <laughs> and 40 <laughs> coming. The other six games. We, we just hit 40 touchdowns loading. You got any goals? How many touchdowns you want to score next year? 40. You want to score 40 yeah. touchdowns next year? 35. You think you can? What's the most you ever scored in the season? You remember? I think. Your daddy keep all your stats. It's all on video. It's all on spreadsheets. I, think you, I know you know. <laughs> the seven you game, it was. I scored like 25 touchdowns or 26. In seven you? Yeah. Yeah? Just saying, so now you want to touch 35, 40. Yeah, yeah. All you got to do is press the hole, man. You good. <laughs> good to go. Just, just press the hole. 35, 40 coming. All right, man. Uh, we're going to be watching you this year. We can keep following you, bro. Listen, man, we've been in the brand corner. And everybody just thought he was the curly head dude who dad played in the NFL. And he was soft and all that stuff. But Bobby was saying what? I'm telling y'all. And they came out with the rankings and they ranked my dog. Where they ranked my dog at, Najee? Number 95. How about they ranked him, man? <laughs> like number 60, something about 100. Nice <laughs> Must have been the curls, though. Hey, the curls, nice. So look, he got one NIL deal. If you got hair products, like, yo, hit my man up with an NIL deal because them curls popping right now. Yeah. Well, listen, man, y'all stay locked in, man. Rank, uh -huh. I think I'm Rick. Where you ranked that now? They had to switch up the R and I had to switch three. that up, right? I think it was three. Uh, three. Three? Oh, you, oh, you went from yeah. what? What number you were ranked first? Remember 60-something? Where were you? Like 69. 69. You were what, eight years old then? Mm -hmm. And now they got you, they had to get that right, right? <laughs> right? Now they got you ranked the number three. Number three what? Player in your age group or, or yeah. at any position? No, just at running back. At running back. They got you the number three running back what? In the nation or? Yeah, nation. Yeah. I got to go find out who one and two is. Who's one and two? I know did you. Did they score nine? Did they score someone, nineteen touchdowns in half a season? It's someone <laughs> from going Lambo. Oh, okay. it's from Lambo. Running back from Lambo. Gotcha. Yeah, I had saw him and Blaze in a one on one. And who's number two? You know, it ain't Blaze. I think it's another person from yeah Lambo. I'm two. Thought I was two. Your daddy just chimed in. Told you he had all the stats. Dad yeah. said you're two, and he then the Lambo kid in his phone. He, yeah, the Lambo no. kid uh, is is is. Is, is one of your two. But that's a long way to come, man. I mean, but... Uh, let him have a number one for right now. We'll see what's up when the mustache kicks in. We'll see what's going on. <laughs> when the mustache kicks in, you start All about like that this. mustache coming in. You start talking yeah. like this. Yeah. Right. If we're going to movies this weekend. Exactly. All right, man. Listen, Brian Davenport, we're going to stay locked in. We'll go check out this video, man, where he, he reacted to his dad, to his dad highlights from high school. Uh, would you surprise them highlights was in color? 
Yeah. <laughs> you thought they were being black and white, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is Brad Musburger. It, 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 <laughs> you're looking live at Najee Diver for 1986. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Put the man in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Brian Davenport, tell the people they can follow you at on Instagram, though. Uh, Cinco underscore dot. For, yeah, Cinco underscore dot. Or just search Brian Davenport on YouTube. And it links to my Instagram. There it is, man. Brian Davenport. Curly head killer. Got him.